Quitting is a choice. When you quit something, you're making a decision. Most people rarely quit anything. They just stop. And they don't go back. In high school, this is pretty much how a girl would break up with you. They stop calling you. They avoid you. In my case, I avoid lifting heavy things. Why? Simple reason. Fear. In my case, fear of getting hurt. But am I really quitting? I really can't see myself quitting. I just can't. This training cycle has been pretty depressing. I'm always hurt. Something is always bothering me. And I've been assessing. I'm assessing options, other options, as a matter of fact, of training. But there are no other choices that make me feel the way I do. Not like what powerlifting does. Some work out for a pump, a bicep pump, a muscle pump muscle tightness, some run for that therapeutic high, I get a huge high over overcoming a heavy weight, repping a weight for a number of reps that I'm 50% sure of making. My God, it's so invigorating. When I approach the bar and I focus myself, it feels like nothing else exists. It's really difficult to get in this mode, but it's like the blinders go on and you can't see anything else but the barbell. Using a high school analogy, it's like when you get sprung and all that's all you can think about. Urban, Urban Dictionary link in the description. For that moment, nothing else matters more than completing your goal for that set. You can barely hear the music. You can't see anyone around you, yet the gym is crowded. It's just you and the barbell. And you're almost angry in that moment. It's a battle between you and the barbell. Fuck the barbell. You literally become another person or you tap into a part of you that's so difficult to find under any other condition. I think you call it flow. But it's more like flow on steroids. You approach the bar, you set up, you dig your back into the metal, you unrack, and then you squat. When you deadlift, you grip and then you rip. When you When you bench, you unrack, and then you bench. To paraphrase the ultimate warrior, when the planets align and the sun shines through destiny, I will meet you. If your form is just right and you have enough adrenaline pumping through your system, the weight does not feel like it used to because you tapped into a part of yourself that is so powerful. It's like the perfect force reaction. I mean, if you can imagine trying to punch a feather or punch the air, you just can't hit it very hard because it's too light. It moves away from you. But when there's enough weight and a lot of it, you react in such a way that defies everything that you're used to because in that moment, you are superhuman. You are not normal. Just like the story of the woman who lifted a car to save the life of her child. Then when you're done, after the set is finished, you have no idea what the fuck just happened. You get this feeling of, or this thought of, I did it. Then later, maybe the next day, you're like, how the fuck did I do that? Like today, I was doing some incline dumbbell presses with a coworker, Nas, the gym, and I was doing like 60 pound dumbbells for reps, right? And I was thinking out loud, you know, having trouble doing this. I was saying, I said, can you believe that I was pause benching 275 for triples like a few weeks ago? I did like six or seven sets that day past week when I did that. I can't even believe I I can't even believe I can do that now. There's no news. There's a reason why I don't like dumbbell work. If I could just squat bench and deadlift without the detriment to my own health, I would. Before, barbell lifting was just something cool and novel to me. The barbell was sort of getting interesting again. People were doing it more. And I said, hey, why not get into this thing, right? Just try it out. Uh, I set a goal to deadlift 500 pounds back at the end of 2013. And I was wondering if I could do that. I figured, hey, why not? I haven't set a long-term goal in fitness for a long time. And after I accomplished that, after I've sort of turned just deadlifting 500 pounds into powerlifting, it was the next sort of journey. I do it not really for powerlifting. I do it for my own mental health. I do it because it's the best antidepressant. You know, I mean, I get these episodes where I don't 
feel good about myself and it just it ruins me but when i lift weights i mean i just i feel so changed i do it because it brings something out of me that's so difficult to tap into i wish i could just press a button and unleash this inner warrior a deadlift warrior i know it sounds ridiculous sounds stupid but i can't help it i don't want to be the best in powerlifting i just want to keep doing what i love Powerlifting is an outlet for me to officiate my numbers and translate it to the world. But mostly, it's just my own validation. It's really just for me. Getting under a heavy barbell, lifting a heavy weight, a dangerously frightening, scary weight, I have fear. But it's a fear I'm used to. It's a fear that so few people understand. And those few times a week where I'm able to summon the courage where I'm able to unleash this part of me, to move this weight. It's literally like a nuclear reaction. The metaphor is, I'm splitting atoms and releasing energy. And when it's done, when the three white lights have been lit, you can't help but feel a sense of amazement and a sense of accomplishment. To me, it's literally magic. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed my little writing, my talk. Uh, Leave a comment below, like to share an experience, because that's really what this is, you know. A lot of us watch YouTube videos because, I don't know, maybe we just like lifting alone, because I really do enjoy lifting. Occasionally, I like lifting with other people, but I mostly like lifting alone. It's my preference. And um, I find that I can see how YouTube and blogs and whatnot is just a way to kind of share the outlet. And it's been, it's fun, you know. And I, I got some viewers, and I appreciate you guys watching and listening to me and sharing, because um, I get something out of it. So, and I hope you get something out of me. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And um, share this with someone if you think it will help them or you thought it was cool. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.